Warriors. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Take two here of this North American Grand Finals match between ELSR, undefeated so far in this tournament, and KSC knocked into the loser's bracket earlier in the event by ELSR, and they have fought their way back here to try once again. ELSR spawning here on the north side of North, bringing St. Vincent Kremlin all the 12-kilometer radar you could possibly want, double Nevsky, Petro, and Stalingrad, and then fronted by gearing, daring, and a bit of a rarity, Zath, Adelny. Right, we talked about that at the top of the stream. Uh, looking forward to seeing Adelny come in, and it's taken us until now to see one. So we'll have to see what that uh, what that brings. By the way, Kukuri, I just noticed the daring. Um, actually, no, daring can daring take propulsion mod? I can't remember. No, no British ship can take yeah. propulsion mod. So that makes sense. All right, let's take a look at KSC, uh, bringing uh, Vermont, Ohio, Moskva, Petro. Where did I miss something? Uh, no, <laughs> Aragumo, nope. Gearing, Z52, and Grozovoy. Remember, lineups cannot change if a restart is called. Look, Aussie now, going to the same place. Shocker. Aussie's going, to, Aussie's going to the same place. They came ready with the radar. They knew exactly where to look. Maybe a little bit of the predictability of KSC working against them here because it costs Aussie about 25% of his health or so just to get into that position. That's right. But Torps are going out on Peach's location, so maybe... Oh my goodness. Big hit there on Colonel Sanders, Vermont. Yeah. That was Stalingrad AP. That was impressive. Wow. It was. Peach choosing not to stay there, instead continuing to move on, possibly seeing the KSC's playbook from an earlier match and knowing what to expect. Well, they know with his radar down that Aussie should be clear to grab this cap because there's another 80 seconds or so cooldown on this radar. Aussie's gonna, Aussie's gonna smoke his way, reversing into this cap, try to grab this, mm. and I think he's gonna be able to do it. They shouldn't be able to stop him, really. Yeah, I like that he's got his hydro up too, just giving him that extra vision. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Kokori I... taking some blind fire in there. I like that. Bold. He can see the torpedoes coming, of course. German Hydro with plenty of detection. Now Peach is reversing. Maybe you think Peach is going to take some blind fire. I think he's waiting to see an explosion, but they, they're they probably both going to shoot at this point because five to here, here it comes. And he gets they it. Do, he does catch him with a reset. Radar is 30 seconds away. Floops will be able to cap before then. Peach, oh my goodness. Whoa. The Vermont makes him pay for his, his audacity right there. From Steals backing up. 50, 55,000 hit points from him in a single salvo, Zaf. Yeah, that's. I think that's the biggest hit we've seen. That certainly is the biggest one I've seen in this tournament. Goodness. And uh, just like that, that reset wasn't worth it now. <laughs> Doesn't feel like it now, does it? Wow. Well, Peach is healing up and spotted again. I have a feeling KSC is already smelling blood. I mean, you have to be excited about the idea of picking off that Stalingrad, Zath, but the question becomes, where do you do it from? Now, the Vermont's got a good position mm -hmm. to try again, but you have to wonder if Peach is going to be bold enough to give him the opportunity. Well, and if Peach does try that right now, he'll trip over some torpedoes for his trouble. Right. Yes, he will. He uh, is he's actually backing up. about to do so. He's backing up. He's going to take one now. I think he's going to take at least one, if not two. Just the one. One right in the stern. Mm, no. No. Oh. Whoa. Very close. Talk about a sixth sense there as Quicksilver now goes in to see. And he's like, yeah, I'll just walk in here and take it. Thank you. I like this aggressive destroyer play. KSE trying to get ahead of these guys on points and force them to make some potentially difficult decisions later in the match. Quicksilver caught on radar now. Nobody with shots, though. Yeah, so that's fine. He'll just sit there, take it, and walk out. Luger's Nevsky in this smoke cloud north of A also taking some torpedoes. Speaking of Probably taking Cowboy. some torpedoes, I wonder if Cowboy took a torpedo or got yeah, radar. Yeah, I think he did. I think we might have seen a little bit about both of that going back and forth today. And we've seen KSC do this several times on this map. Lots of torpedo, torpedo spam on this A flank, right? Yep. Aussie detected now. Peach is radaring. 
Yeah, they can't they have they can't get shells on him though. No. He's tucked in there nice and tight. Now if they had eyes on Peach, the Vermont could potentially just absolutely hammer him, but they don't. Not yet, but Aussie looks like he's reversing out to try to get that vision. Maybe he just took a salvo at Steven St. Vincent. Mm-hmm. Those shells going in. Decent Solid hit. hit. Yeah. Yeah, lots of good full pins there. Good about 10, 12K. C is flipping back. They stole some points off of it with Quicksilver's Grozovoy, but Quincy's Delny dives in. So now oh. they're going to lose control of C, but back A, and oh my goodness, Cowboy. What a torpedo salvo right there. Those, tor those torps weren't even meant for Kakuri, I don't think. No, they broke his back. They were looking for Steven St. Vincent. Wow. A little bit of luck for KSC here in the early going. They do grab A and pick up a quick kill. Up 250 points here, six minutes gone. Cowboy's torpedo is just coming in clutch as Sanders takes a torpedo in the Vermont. He's, he's like an artist with those things, At This feels like every time he fires torpedoes, you expect amazing things to happen. Yes, he's just going around dropping off happy little torpedoes in different parts of the map. Absolutely. Hutao and the Petro. Just... Takes oh, torp. friendly torpedoes, Zap. All the torpedoes are friendly torpedoes. That's right. They just want to come give your hull a hug. <laughs> Well, undeterred from A, we have uh, Tian Tian going in with the gearing. I think they know they need to, to respond in some way over there. They've well, got to get into the cap. Unfortunately, Coop has been pushed too far off the cap for his radar to be useful. At the moment, his radar's up. Mm -hmm. Tian Tian's out of range of it. Yeah, but they're getting some good hits into Luger, though. Tian Tian doesn't know this radar's up. He's about <sighs> to find out right there. And here comes some torps on Luger. He's got Hydro oh, running. Oh, yeah. Luger's okay. getting super low. Down to 12K already. So they're going to be able to push Tiantan off the cap. Vermont Salvo coming in, doing some good hits. But they're not going to be able to keep him off forever because now that Coop's radar is down, he should be able to get back in there mm -hmm. pretty easily. I think Luger's the pick, Zaf. If I'm KSC, Luger's oh, yeah. lit. The smoke is expiring. You want to pick up this kill. Either the Vermont, the Nevsky. You see the Harugamo starting in on him. They got to get this guy. Yep. They need to bag this kill. They're going to get it right here. Siberian. There he goes. Two kills up is KSC. Nearly 400 points, eight minutes in. Tiantian's going to take A, but at the cost of essentially two ships over there and Steven St. Vincent taking a torp now as well. Cowboy gets on to defend the A cap. Tiantian decides he doesn't want to hang out rather than get spotted. Hmm. Quincy's Delny now over at BZAP. He's moved from the C cap all the way back over here. Yeah, quite a bit of ELSR uh, forces on the 910 line just kind of sitting there. I mean, they're trying yeah. to work their way south. Their push is stalled a bit, so it makes sense to rotate Quincy. It does make sense to bring Quincy over here. Uh, I'm a little, I'm a little baffled that they've spent this long, kind of sitting. Mm -hmm. You know, this is sort of what happened to them in the game against 07. They brought a lot of firepower over here. It got here, it sat here, and then it all kind of melted, right? That's right. This was the this was the, North was remember the one map that that ELSR lost in the 07 series earlier in the winners bracket. And Cowboy takes a torp in the butt. Oh, he's gonna be very low. He Speaking is of torpedoes, one coming in for Oguri, one in the bow, one in the stern, puts up a heel. The enemy is about to win. Those 12 kilometer Grozovoy torpedoes coming into play. Mm. Back over on the A line, we have Coop just farming down Stevens St. Vincent now. He was forced to DCP from taking that torpedo, and that hurt because he lost a lot of hit points in those fires. He does have a seal up, and he does have a DCP available. 
Yeah, he's only he's only through his second brand new ship, so he should yes. be okay for a little while longer. And if you recall earlier today, he went down with absolutely zero heals left. This guy knows how True. to maximize his healing potential. Now that is TNTN's last smoke. They're using it to cover Steven's retreat, but it'll be the last time they get to do that as Quincy is now into B. Hataki's radar is down. He must've used it earlier to push him off the cap. So they're probably gonna lose control of B here. Hmm. Nope, Take they're gonna move up and spot him on the surface. <laughs> Just tell me things. That's right. We're gonna we're gonna fight. We're gonna spot him with our faces, Zap. Mm -hmm. Some cross shots coming in from Peach to the other side of the map. Are they gonna do anything? Nope. And I was looking at uh, down on the the sea cap area as Oguri is down to eleven thousand hit points and falling in that Kremlin. Yep, Oguri's getting quite low. All the torpedoes and everything have started to finally take their toll. Danny's hanging in, but they're going to continue to focus Oguri until they get him off the board. There there he goes. goes. Aussie Z-52 has moved over to C, so even if they lose control of Bizath, this feels like a KSC win to me. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we're talking less than a minute to go in this match, just on points. 35 Whoa. seconds now, KSC. Total total control of the board. Big hit on Quincy. Was that the Vermont again? No, that was the Petro. That was a Take. Uh, well, and you now, can see the Vermont. The Vermont yeah. secondaries are actually all over him now. They can see him, and uh, here it comes. Bloom. The Soul Not Hunters have appeared. There he goes. And there we go. Wow, a convincing KSC win here in... in game one Zath, but that just evens it up right because the that's lsr right. came into this match with a one game lead now we're tied now it's a best of three series that's right it's like when you've got that special advantage in survivor and all of a sudden it's gone just like that mm -hmm. and a flawless victory for well as ksc not even losing a ship flawless victory yes flawless victory all right well uh we'll have to see we've got at least two more battles to cast indeed Two more games. That was a that was a solid looking KSC win. Let's throw it back to Prague and see what the uh, see what Bogsy and Gaishu have to say. Mm. And clear. All right, that was damn. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Game two of ELSR versus KSC, the grand finals for North America. KSC coming out very strong in the last battle, winning ELSR's map pick North. We'll have to see how ELSR responds on KSC's map pick, Tears of the Desert. So uh, KSC is bringing uh, St. Vincent, a Vermont, double Nevsky, Petra Pavlovsk, Double Gearing, Kleber, and Grozovoy. Raptor, what do we have down south? ELSR coming to the dance with Double St. Vincent. We've seen them run this before. A Howden Liu, that's Luger. We've seen him also run that ship on this particular map previously. Hmm. Nevsky, Petro, and Stalin. Nice mix of ships with different capabilities and long range radar. Trusted by Gearing, and then Kleber and Marceau. Those French destroyers on this map can be big, big, have big impacts because of those, how quick they are. They lots of ground to cover. This is a large map. You know, I just noticed something. Hmm. I wanted to share that. If you take a look at your handy dandy tool at Ogori St. Vincent, you'll notice that in the first slot, instead of taking uh, main armaments mod one, he's choosing the damage control mod that basically makes mm -hmm. him invincible from fire or flood for a longer duration i think it's 20 percent mm -hmm. longer 40 percent, something like that interesting uh, it's a 40 40 percent boost and the british one i believe is 15 seconds long right so that would give him about about six more seconds of uh of dcp yeah generally i might see this uh useful on say a kremlin or a, mm -hmm. uh, a american battleship especially because they have the longer duration uh immunity 
So yes. interesting to see. I wonder if that's part of his little secret bag of tricks. Mm, it's a good question. It's not something I think I would have thought to try, but if it's working for him, I'm who am I to tell him he's wrong, right? Right. About to have a Our... destroyer throw down at B Cap. Uh, are we? The Kleber is easily going to be outspotted by that Grozovoy. Yeah, mm. the Groz should have a detection about six and change. Kleber should be well over seven somewhere. Yeah, but Peach's radar is in oh, range. Oh, he's well, well within Peach's radar if he wants to bother with it. Mm-hmm. Siberian not quite back on the cap. There he goes. A cap flips and is immediately contested. They get exactly one tick out of it for capping it. And then Quincy is, Quincy is here contesting. <laughs> yep, no radar yet from Peach. I wonder if they're going to allow yeah. the cap. I mean, okay, so it's a question of what you want to give up. They could radar him, mm -hmm. and then the Clever would take shots. Yep. At that point, the Clever is probably going to get shot at. So it's a question of how much health you want to surrender mm -hmm. to prevent this cap. And right now, the answer seems to be none. none. Yep. Yep. Eskokuri is detected once again. So just like that, KSC quickly on to A and B, taking up both caps. There's Peach the radar. A very, yep. Peach taking a very aggressive position here in the slot between B and C with his Stalingrad. As Siberian's Klebe... Uh, sorry. Siberian is pushed off the cap by Kikori's Kleber. Yeah, we've seen Stalingrads take those aggressive positions. Oftentimes, they just kind of get farmed out. Coop getting a little hammered here on the northern end of the map. May have taken a torpedo. Not sure precisely. He's got some smoke to work into now as the Hao Liu bombs start to fall. I like this, uh, the smoke train going right to that island, though. Yeah. Quincy detected. Shell's coming in. This torpedo is going into that smoke as well. Nobody with hydro up. So Sanders doesn't know about them. Wow. There we go. Both, both ships have got a nice gap there, so they're going to be okay. Convenient. Convenient. Again, Kikuri trying to cap B. Again, Siberian trying to defend the cap and push him out. Five minutes gone. Still a lot of jockeying for position here. A very narrow KSC lead in the early going, but way too early to really say if a team, any of these, either of these teams has an advantage yet. Yeah, Colonel Sanders uh, is emerged from that smoke cloud, detected now from Hydro. Nice hit on Luger from Petra. Are they trying to are they trying to push a St. Vincent up to this island, Zach? Yes, they are. Interesting decision. He fires AP into Steven's bow off to the south. I don't expect to see big things out of that. Yeah, 8K. It's not mm -hmm. terrible. Petro AP coming in for Koop's Nevsky here. Yeah, Koop is gonna keep both of those uh ELSR ships detected, but. Well, Leo has a, a slight advantage here with the ability to reach out and hit somebody from outside. Very much so. Sanders takes the St. Vincent hit. Those bombs are going to hurt the St. Vincent. Actually, they, he doesn't land too many of them. Only about no. three or four there. A little surprising. Let's take a look at anything else going on. The, still having that destroyer fight at B. Kikuri down to about half HP. The Grozovoy is going to be able to out, is very easily able to outlast him. That's a much better bomb hit there on Sanders. Mm. Tian Tian in the gearing is radared in his death nail down at Sea Cap. Coming under fire by Colonel Sanders' Nevsky. And I'm sure Pikachu is going to shoot too. Nope. Radar ended. There you go. ELSR does manage to bag the B cap out from out from underneath Siberian's nose. He's going to get back onto things and mm -hmm. defend it as Kakuri gets caught by Petro radar. That's Quicksilver. Yep. Off to his north. And look at these torpedoes coming in right now at the island. They just hit Luger. Barely 
barely missed uh, Quincy. These are Clever torpedoes. That was that was Hatake. Look yeah. where he is. Yeah, from the corner, the extreme Almost edge in of the, the map. Yeah, the map corner here. He's not lit yet. Zaf. Yeah, he's self torping. He... Zaf. That is an that is yes. a unique upgrade, Kleber. He can do that. I'm just he has the lower that. detection. Yes. Interesting. Wow. Well, no offense to him. He needs to hurry things along because yeah. how Liu bombs are taking a toll on Sanders big time. Well, and with Coop there too, I mean that's a target rich environment for those carpet bombers. Yep. Oh, Quincy. Qu Quincy's Quincy's gonna take one of these in the bow. Is he gonna take another one? No, no he's okay. He's fine. It's close, but he's fine. Another Sanders, set coming in. Two seconds from a heel. He's gonna barely make it. Wow. wow. And now uh -huh. he opens he's fire with the up. guns. Yeah. I'm, I'm a bit of surprise. I'm, I'm shocked to see this zap. There's three different ships there that can put pressure on him. Yeah, I think he's trying to convert a, a fire on uh, Quincy. He's trying to force a bad play. He's gonna get, no, they're not. They don't have the range to reach no. the St. Vincent. Yeah, this feels like a mistake. Why would you do that? I mean, they know you're there, but they can't see you. Why give them the free shots? Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, maybe to get their attention so that when Colonel Sanders comes up with the St. Vincent, they're not ready? Well, it's not, I mean, it's not like it's a surprise. The Howden Lee's Hydro is up. They could still see him. Yeah. Tons of action here in the top corner of the map. Oh, look at these torps coming in now from Cowboy. Ooh, this is beautiful cross torp action. Aha. He's going to get one into Steven. The Kleber torps from the north are going to go nowhere again. So then maybe that was to distract them, make them all look at him instead of uh, thinking about torps from the south. Could be St. Vincent taking a shot at the Howden Liu. Solid hit. Yeah, good pins. Hit. Even more Kleber torps going in. How much longer on the Hydro for the Howden? 45 seconds. They're well spotted. Wow. Howden's going to take one. I don't think he's going to be able to dodge all of the next salvo either. He's not. Nope. One in the bow. Quincy's at 600 HP and burning. They get the Howden. There they go. And Quincy's going to go down too. Quincy's going to go out. They're going to get Quincy. That's a, those are two huge kills. They had to can make this work, Zaf. They sent five ships up here, and they're going to pull it off. Now, yeah. are they going to be able to salvage Colonel Sanders out nope. of this? <laughs> no. No. Steven St. Vincent ready with the AP to catch him in the turn means that they definitely lose a ship for the play. Right. Still, uh, I mean, a good trade, I suppose. It's, the big thing is, you know, we, we sat here for so long watching this happen... And I kept looking at the minimap like, okay, what else is going to happen where? A a and nothing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Kikuri now pushing Gro the Grozovoy off the cap. He's caught by the radar here. That's Peach Peach's Stalin radar off to his south. Grozovoy is out of heels. He's on, he's on his last one now. Taking some good damage there as well. Mm -hmm. And then also there's a Nevsky uh, of the other Colonel Sanders about to join his friend. Yeah. Yeah, ELSR is like like the like Pikachu's Vermont and Sanders is I mean there's goes Sanders. Yeah. And you have to believe that Pika's Vermont is not far behind. He still has two heels left, but I mean that's not a ship that can uh withstand concentrated fire forever. No. Now Ogori does gonna... take a torpedo. Yep. Takes a gearing torp in the bow. And Steven is on his way out. He has a minute left until his heal's available. DCP is down for another 10 seconds. Yep, they're able to focus him effectively at this point. Plenty. Of, he's trying to get the good salvo on Koop's Nevsky. He gets Pretty a decent one. Hit, yeah. 6, 7K yeah, there. The Nevsky's still got some heals in the bag, though. And there he goes. And they do finally bag Steven. So KSC now up a ship, up a cap. Yep, KSC's Sorry, down a cap. Down a cap, my bad. Right. KSC's going to have to find a way into B now, which should be pretty easy. I think the bigger well, thing is, how do you get in front of, to the side of ELSR's push through C? Yeah. 
There goes They're Pikachu. Gonna find a way. I nope. mean, Pikachu's not dead yet. I mean, I keep thinking he's he's, he's gonna go out and just eventually. He's well, he's about to get to his last heal. He does. He's getting enough, better. It's not. It's not. Nope. The Stalin shells arrive in time. The enemy is about to win. Just in time. Just in time. ELSR out to about a 200 point lead here. KSC scrambling down from the northern end of the map, trying to make an impact, trying to bring these ships to bear. Well, it took so long to get all the way to that corner island. Now they got to. Yeah. <laughs> they just got to. A... <sighs> kudos. I mean, kudos for ELSR, honestly, because they never once took their foot off the gas, knowing exactly. Yeah. You know, all that all that action around the island up in B2 kind of served as a delaying action, allowed them allowing them to get this push off, and it's working so far. Mm-hmm. Cowboy taking a big hit from the Petro radar as he tries to smoke over to this critical island inside the B cap. Yep, I do like that train going. Atake takes Siberian. a hit. Too. Oh no, Siberian got into a gunfight with Kukuri. And I think he's they're gonna lose him, Zap. He's out of heels. He's yeah. like, this is his way of saying, ah, forget it, I'm done. Trying to take Kukuri with him. Yeah, it's kind of strange. I don't know why he would do it this. Is, it is strange, but he does. And Aussie was trying to help out on the side, missing his shots, unfortunately. Yep. Yeah. Kukuri's going to sneak away at about 1,600 HP. 920. He's easily able to... Go ahead. I was going to say, easily able to zoom in front of those torpedoes. Yep. 920 points. Now 928 for ELSR. Peach Beach coming back in with the radar, picking up Cowboy, getting a reset there. That is his last radar. Ninety seconds on the timer for ELSR. All they have to do, honestly, they can they can just chill if they want. Yeah. As long as they can keep KSC out of the C cap, they're gonna win game three or game two. Yep. Aussie, KSC really needs a kill. Exactly. I was just gonna say that Aussie absolutely has to put the foot on the gas pedal and go right for the Kleber or the Geary. I mean, they gotta find some low health ship to just whack. Well, unfortunately, he's his engine boost is down. His engine boost won't come back up if the mm -hmm. game stays on its current trajectory. Right. Cowboy detected now. And he's got no smoke left. He's got and he's got nowhere to run. Oh, Hatake torpedoes Hutao's Petro. That's a big kill for KSC, but it's not going to be all that useful because they're about to lose Cowboy. That's right. There he goes. Yep. If they have been able to preserve Cowboy's ship while picking up that kill, maybe, but certainly not now. Tian Tian detected. Shell's coming in. 54 seconds. That's Petro Aussie. Radar. Yep, Aussie's still dropping shells in there. Kukuri's also lit as well. No one's shooting at him. Probably because he's so far back. Nope, Does that's it. it. Yep, that's it. ELSR bags the Nevsky to push the timer over, push the points over, I should say. As they're going to pick up game two here, go up to a two to one lead. That's right. ELSR responding, saying, hey, you won our map pick, we'll win yours. That's right. That's exactly what just happened. Both teams claiming the other team's map as we head to game three, which is going to be KS, I'm sorry, ELSR's map pick again. We'll have to see if KSC can keep the trend up. That's right. Well, let's uh, throw it back to Prague and uh, see how things go. Yep. See you guys in a minute. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to what could be the last match of the day if ELSR wins this game. KSC, of course, has something to say about that, and we'll see exactly uh, what happens in this match on Sleeping Giant. So, 
KSC bringing St. Vincent, Vermont, Nevsky, Moskva, Petropavlovsk, Gearing, Harugumo, Kleber, and Daring. Uh, now this time, uh, it's Koop in the Kleber, and we have a regular Kleber. So not a unique upgrade, Kleber. Correct, sir. All right. Looking for their first King of the Sea crown, if they can win this game, is ELSR. Spawning on the south side of the map here in red, bringing Conqueror, St. Vincent, Des Moines, Moskva, Nevsky, and Petra. Once again, a whole host of long-range radar, fronted by double gearing and a Delny. Now, as we like to do, let's have a quick peek on these gearings. I'm betting I'm looking at... Yep. Yes, they are unique. Tian Tian, Tian, Tian is unique. Yep, and there's Luger, and he is as well. Not mm -hmm. surprising, really. It's a very, very strong upgrade, honestly, because it lowers the detection of that ship and makes it much more competitive in that department. You sacrifice a little bit in the guns, but uh, hey. You do, but in a, situ in a, in a map like this, it, it, the way most teams field gearing, right, in King of the Sea, you almost spend more time playing the ship like a Shimakaze than, than anything else, right? You don't play mm -hmm. it like a gunboat. Right. So... If you get anything out of the guns, it's a bonus, not a requirement. Right, exactly. Remember, with Shimakaze, your standard torpedoes are going to be 12 kilometer range, um, unless you wanted to do the 20s. Whereas with the gearing, your standards are going to be the 16 and a half kilometer range. And those torpedoes have a little bit less uh, reaction time as well. So some people like to use gearings instead of Shimas for that reason. Well, this game on Sleeping Giants going to shape up like we've seen several several iterations before mm -hmm. we're going to see gearing and nevsky both hanging around doing what they do around the sea cap the overwhelming majority of the firepower and, and strength of both teams headed over here towards the a cap right yeah coop being pushed back uh early radar by the moskva that's going to go down in a few seconds and we'll probably see him just casually back up seems likely we're, we're seeing, you know, one of the things that I, I kind of point out, like ELSR's strat from the south spawn here looks very similar to what we saw 07 run, right? You've got I a Petro yeah. and a Moskva up here next to this island. You, your battleship on this flank is a Conqueror. Now, they've opted for a Des Moines where we kept seeing a Venezia over here. Mm. Um, and uh, Luger is running, of course, a Gearing, whereas, again, very commonly we would see, uh, we saw both Kleber and Ragnar on this flank at different times from Mad Dog. Yep, agree. Just got slapped by uh, that St. Vincent. Oh, yes, he did. Look at that. Yeah. C Conqueror's, Conqueror's Citadel changes have actually made the ship a little less survivable than it used to be. Because, I mean, look how much of that health he can't heal back now because Absolutely. of the Citadel damage. Yeah. Uh, Siberian going into A. This could be catastrophic if he doesn't see these torpedoes. He's slowing down. Raptor is slowing down. He he might take he is, two here. He's gonna take two of he's these. Take one. No, just the one. He managed to slow down and only take the one. That's that actually allows yeah. him to preserve his ship but as the Des Moines radar comes up. Yeah, just as he's radared, he takes the torpedo. Feels bad. Well, I think the radar was a response to taking the torpedo hit because they knew they could. They had the, they had a chance to. I'm to pretty finish sure him he off. was lit just before the torps hit. But hey, either way, wow, we're about to see Siberian go down here. Either way, it seems likely that Siberian is going to go off the board here. He's burning under 1,000 HP. Yeah. Shell's continuing to fall. Now, Luger is getting absolutely hammered for this play. He is, but he's safe. And the Des Moines is safe, is safe as well. Kukuri, Kukuri managed to sweep, uh, sneak his Des Moines through the torpedo salvos there, taking basically nothing. Yep, ELSR comes up with first blood in the first... What, four minutes of the game? Yep. Inside of five minutes here, our first kill going to ELSR. Now, pretty static on the rest of the map. This is something that we've seen as the tournament has gone on. Sleeping mm. Giant now develops very slowly in this configuration because I, oh. of how far apart these caps are. Look at A. Look at the salvo coming out on Kokuri's Des Moines with torpedoes as well. Could have been a lot worse, but I'm sure Colonel Sanders is looking at this as an opportunity to take out a big threat. Well, Kukuri is in a real bad position here, right? He's staring a St. Vincent in the nose. Yeah. A St. Vincent that can easily uh, overmatch his bow once he loads the AP. 
and then if but if he backs up too far he's giving his broadside to sanders his mosque but he, he can't risk that right and i love that one lone torpedo it's gonna miss i keep hoping for a big torpedo hit <laughs> Haven't seen that they haven't seen the St. Vincent's torpedoes be super impactful in the NA bracket of the event. No. Sanders now giving up broadside to Peach Peach's Moskva in order to get these shells into Kukuri. Imagine if Peach was in that Stalingrad again. Hmm. Right? Stalingrad would have absolutely just just chewed him up right there between the the damage on the AP and the penetration on those shells, but I mean, it's not like the pet, it's not like these Moskva shells are going to waste either. No, Kukuri needs to die as soon, there it goes. There he, yep, St. Saint, Saint Vincent finally claiming the Kukuri, uh, Kukuri there as they, they lose control of A, but bag a kill. Right, but Sanders though, not looking too good. He's gotta get up, he's gotta back off. He's gotta go dark. He's got 40 seconds until his next DCP, 20 seconds. To his next heal. All right, he's dark now. Have, have a look at mid, and I realize that they probably aren't going to reach. But look at look at Aussie's conga line torpedoes out here looking for Hu Tao. <laughs> now wow. he's got his sonar up. He's got his hydro up. So he's. I mean, they're not going to land. No. But I like the daring play for this reason because we keep seeing, you know, Soviet cruisers, you know, in this position, and those conga line torps can be very effective. Yep. Sanders does get his uh, heal away. Still burning back here. Wow. Yeah. Well, his DCP is not available till now. And at that point, you might as well just let it finish burning. So, both the Sanderses. I'm just realizing. Yes. How are these ships? How are these? How are these accounts? How do these accounts have the exact same names, App? Well, you see, there's always the lowercase L and the uppercase I. Oh, is that what I'm looking at? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, <laughs> there you go. Welp, he said. Welp, Welp he said. <laughs> Welp. All right, so there we go. KSC now picking up a cap of their own in response. Cowboy grabbing C. Now both teams ticking up a cap. 50 points between these two teams. 12 minutes to play. Yeah, I'm curious where the next action's going to take place. I don't think it's going to be over at A. I'm calling B. Quincy's about to stick stick his stern into the B cap here. Hmm. Floops is detected now. He's gonna get some shots into Quincy. Yep. And duck around where he's got some island cover. Oh, big Quincy's, hit on Hutao. Oh, big hit on Hutao. Was that the St. Vincent? It yes. was, wasn't it? That was Colonel yep. Sanders. Yep. If you push your yeah, that was a brilliant. We've seen some of these British battle cruisers, I've watched an incomparable thread these gaps in these islands and just dev strike things before. It can absolutely yeah. be done. Isn't this what happened to ELSR earlier when they faced O7? Oh, no, it was a KS. It was a KSC that faced O7 today? Yes. Yes. And O7, or KSC made the same mistake, if I remember right. They had their mm. cruiser sitting there with that flat land. Yeah, they were they the were on the other side. side of the cap, but yes, it was the same yeah. same I same rough position. Yes. Yeah. Now, Coops Kleber at A in a position to stick his stern in. Try to flip A. I'm guessing that's going to draw probably a radar from Peach Peach. Mm -hmm. They'll push him off the cap, and then he'll try again. Look how close these two Russian cruisers are right now. I mean, they could just... I yep, mean, there's the radar. Yeah. You just walk from one deck to the other, couldn't you, Zap? Yeah, right, exactly. Now, Coop is not moving at the moment. Okay, the shells are coming in. Those yeah. are Conqueror shells. They yeah. get the reset. By the way, do you notice how Oguri is actually reversing with the Conqueror? Is he? Yeah. So he is. <laughs> I'm wondering what this, like, I'm not sure why you would do that precisely, but okay. Uh, well, I think they were expecting uh, to receive a push from uh, KSC. Ah, uh, could be, could be. And some more last-second shots at Coop. No dice. They mm -hmm. do push him off the cap. Yeah, the worst thing you can do is in a conqueror is get stuck bow in. So yeah, 
Because once you try to make that turn, you're hosed. Mm -hmm. Especially with that new Citadel. I think this is the right play from KSC, though, Zaf. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, eventually, with enough pressure, they will be able to pick up A. And yeah, look because at... Luger, Luger can't risk going in there with a Moscow radar nearby. Now, look at C. We've got yep. MC detected, TNTN detected. All these shells in the world coming in. Yep, Hataki's radar is up, and he's actually spotted back there. I'm not sure how. There we go. He's finally dark in the smoke. Mm. And Floops has yet to go in a B, although he's slowly moonwalking his way in. Yeah, now that they know they've pulled Quincy off of B, there's... Right. It's only it's going to take the Petro radar, that's that's Hutan, to defend this. There it goes. There comes the radar. Take dis uh, detected again. But, over but at I mean, the Daring still has plenty of HP. They're going to push him off the cap. They're going to get some HP out of him. He's going to heal it back, and then he's going to get in there and pick this up. Oh, Raptor, look at C. Torpedo's coming on TNT right now. Takes him out. Whoa! Another Cowboy like, signature salvo. That is a big kill for KSC. Puts him up a ship as they're making inroads at B. And honestly, I'm surprised to see them pulling Coop away from A. I still feel like they could have picked that cap up in between the Moscow radars, but they've elected not to. Yeah, they absolutely could have played games there. Um, Look at Peach. Pushing yep. right through the cap. He's spotted now. Yep, and that might be why they pulled the Kleber back. Could be, because here comes the radar. Coop's a bit caught out here. He didn't know Peach was there until he came around the corner of the island. Fortunately for him, those shells all missed. Yep. Next salvo misses as well. Good dodging by Coop. Those don't miss as they put start to put shells down range on Luger, who's trying to get hard cover behind this island. Yeah, Sanders. They get a little bit of chip damage. Sanders might take a torpedo here. I think he's he's okay. But yeah, Luger's detected now, so <laughs> Coop's like, all right. Yep. Moscow radar picking him up, but they can't seem they can't quite get shells on him there. Yeah, Coop's in trouble. He's gonna have to back off and go dark. Quicksilver radar going up here between B and C. I'm not sure what they were hoping to find. All they're catching is Steven St. Vincent in the gap over here where we saw Ace Baby play quite a bit earlier in the day. I think they were trying to figure out if the Delny was going to re... Uh, was was moving back towards B. For his moving back, right. Okay, makes sense. A little bit of info radar then. Yes. That being said, Cowboy is using radio location to send out a nice set of torps towards Quincy's Delny. It's not going to matter. Not going to hit him. Well, have a... B is a bit of dicey here because if the Daring inches out too far, the St. Vincent will have eyes on him on the surface. Mm. Aussie's having to back off to the north now. He should be okay, I think, to come around the island. He's nope. detected. There He's it is. Not. He's lit. Oh, and the HE shells come in. They miss, blessedly for him. Yes, but who tells got radar? Pe yep, Petro radar is up. They need to convert this kill if they can. They don't have much radar left out of that. No. Only five seconds. One more salvo from each ship. Good hits, hits, not yeah. catastrophic. And Aussie, Aussie, Aussie's out of heals, but he's still got about half his HP left. Five and a half minutes to play. KSC out to a, uh, about 150-ish point lead here. Yeah, they're doing a nice job over on Seaside of pushing uh, ELSR back mm. as something wrong just takes a 5K hit and is forced even farther back. They brought floops around here to try and deny this, to try to deny this St. Vincent push. Both the St. Vincent and the Petro are moving up together on the V-cap. Yeah, I love these single fire torps from floops. Look at them. I do too, and I love the way he staggered them. Oh yeah. Those first five are gonna miss, but these next two, I think, are not. He's gonna catch at least one of these, if not both. He's gonna catch both? Mm. No, just the second one. Yep. 
Loops now does smoking land, up. Does land a flood. Oof. Steven barely dodges that other one. He still has two heals available. Well, and he's still got two more torpedoes coming in. St. Vincent now sitting on the edge of the cap. Delny coming in. They bag something wrong. Nevsky down on yep. the eye line. Yep. Two more torps in the bow. Ouch. Really brilliant play from Floops there. Absolutely. Forces the DCP. Forces the heal. Yep. And Quincy detected now. Pikachu, yep. Pikachu shooting. Putting, Pikachu putting shells down range there. Two ships down, ELSR trying to make something happen in the B cap, but KSC responding. Yes, they're also pushing the conch into A now. Looks like they're gonna they're gonna try to work their way up that side. Luke, oh check out Luger. Luger spotted on radar. The Clavers got him in the open. He's out. Yeah, good catch. Big, big kill over here on the one line. Like, can now they gotta keep yeah. Yep, Coop's gonna sneak away. They lose control of B, Zath, but I'm not sure it matters. I mean, we're no. almost at that, that precious 900-point threshold. Now, watch Quicksilver now. Quicksilver's going to come right around and see Quincy and assassinate him. Or he's going to kill the island. That's what he did. He killed the island. Well, they know he's there. It's not a secret anymore. And Quincy's well-lit 4K. He's going to charge Quicksilver. I mean, what or else do you do at this point? He's going to charge the island and try to get to where the guns can't hit him, maybe? Yes, that's what he's doing. And then he's going to pop out and twerp. No, he he's going to... He's going to... There he goes. And... Nope. 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 Doesn't get the torpedoes off. The enemy is about to win. That kill puts KSC seconds from a win here in game three. Pikachu quite low, though. Yeah, Pikachu's looking pretty rough over here. He took a double fire the first time he came around that corner and... Looks like he's going to burn out here. Yeah, his heals and DCPs are too far away. Mm. It's going to make up for the loss of the Delny a little bit. Yep. Put some time back on the clock. And now Cowboy. Look at Cowboy. Opening yeah. up with guns. Yeah, Very I was going to say, look at, look, at, look at what they're doing to Steven. All these torpedoes coming in. Forcing him to maneuver. Oh, he takes him one lit. there. He takes one. He's about to take another. I don't think he can get through all of them. Oh! He does. The he finds a way. Win. But now he's going to turn back into the final salvo. Nope. No, those run out of steam. Goodness gracious. One minute and 45 seconds left, assuming Steven doesn't die before then. Quicksilver's Petro moving up into B, putting pressure on Hu Tao. Steven St. Vincent, also a tournament under a tremendous amount of pressure. KSC needs to convert one of these kills to secure the win. how Quicksilver look like they're going to go for the Ram. A Ram that greatly benefits KSC. No, they're... I, I don't think they're... Oh! oh, oh, oh Quicksilver! Quicksilver denies it and gets the gets the drive-by. Yep. Wow. I was, as soon as I looked at it, I'm thinking, yeah, they're not going to make the Ram. Oh! They're gonna, and they're, and they're going to pick up Steven right here at the very last possible second. Yep, Jeez. there it is. KSC not done yet. Like a boss, just comes right in, deriftos around the other Petropavlovsk, and Brilliant. executes him. Brilliant play. Now, it's worth, you know, we didn't mention it, Zath, but KSC, way back in the qualifying rounds of, of the tournament, I think it was in the, the quarterfinals, they were swept out of the tournament by ELSR in two straight games. So these two wins that they've had here in the grand finals are so only. far are their, are their only wins against this team in the event. And now... Tied up at two games apiece. We're going to game four. You know, Bogsy mentioned that KSC does their homework. They go and they look at streams. They look at VODs. They try to figure out who their opponents are. And obviously, I, I have a feeling that's exactly what they did after getting knocked out. They said, okay, we got to learn from this. What do they do? How do they do it? And they figured out some ways to get back into these games. Love it. Yep. The adaptations they've made have absolutely worked. And we will be on our way to the final game of the day, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Game four of the North American Grand Finals coming up in just a few minutes. Stay tuned. And clear. Sorry, I just had to. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I'm not offended, man. <laughs> oh, God. I got a great death pick from that one. <laughs> I got a great photo of it. No, I got a great Polaroid of it. There it is. Yes. 
That's what I should be saying. <laughs> I got a great Polaroid yeah. of that. I got a great Polaroid of it. General Quarters. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, warshippers of all ages. Welcome to the final game of the North American bracket here in King of the Sea 14. It all comes down to this. One of these teams is going out of here with the crown, and the other one is going out of here disappointed. As we look into game four now of this North American Grand Final, let's have a look at the lineups here. This is KSC spawning in the green on the north side of the map. They are bringing Conqueror, Kremlin, Des Moines, Minotaur, Petra Pavlovsk, and four destroyers, gearing Shima Harugamo and Yu Yang. Zaf, their opponents, ELSR on the on the south end, what do they got? Yeah, by the way, worth noting, Siberian Dogs, Yu Yang, Radar, and that is a Manitar as well, Radar, Minotaur. Not, not surprised, but good to know. That's right. All right, ELSR bringing St. Vincent, Ohio, uh, Venezia, Stalingrad, Des Moines, Gearing, Kleber, Delny again, and mm -hmm. Shima Kaze for Destroyers. Uh, already we can see some early early action shaping up at the B cap here as Cowboy and Coop continuing to work together. Yeah, worth noticing, uh, Steven in his Ohio is bringing the spotter plane mod, so he will have that uh, longer mm. uptime for longer mm. range and perhaps more accurate shots around mm. uh, behind islands. Okay. Cowboy's gearing already into the B cap. Nobody in radar range of him right now. Torpedo's coming in, but Coop's also got his Hydro up. So Cowboy will be able to see those coming and move out of the way. Yeah, we've seen KSC do this before. Yep. Uh, actually, Coop might take a Torpedo. He's going to have to... Nope. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nope, he's good. Those shouldn't have had the range. Those are... Those are... No. He didn't know that, right? But Correct. those are Delny Torps. They shouldn't have had the range. Which is why you saw Coop accelerating there for a little bit, thinking, Scoochies. crap, I got to get out of here. That's right, which is why he was like, you know what? Let's just not sit here and wait until they're right on top of us to find out that they do have the range. Yep. Yep. KSC opting for a uh, pretty heavy push at CCAP. Actually, both oh, not, teams. I was going to say, not just KSC. Look at this, Zaf. Mm -hmm. you've, got, you've got five KSC ships already on station in the Sea Theater. Same, and you've got basically six ELSR ships already here. Two more KSC ships just to the south could flex this direction they are. if they wanted to. It looks like it. I mean, Cowboy's already set up to get the yeah. next smoke heading that direction. Coop's kind of chilling, but Cowboy's definitely coming this way. Yep. All right. Here comes Luger's Death Snail. Radar going up from the Des Moines. Yep. Picking up Siberian's caught. Yang. Quincy opening fire. They know exactly where to look for him now. All kinds of shells falling in for Siberian. Remember, Yu Yang Found sits it. a little bit lower in the water, maybe a little bit easier to dodge shells than, uh, say, a gearing, but still. Yang out of the radar. Going to be able to dodge the torpedoes. They get about half, about half of Siberian's HP there with that play. Yep, torpedoes narrowly missing Hu Tao's Des Moines. Are those the deep water torpedoes? Yeah, yeah, yep. he's got his Hydra up in here anyway. Yep. Quicksilver now being smoked up by Hitaka Hiyoshi. I like this. Quicksilver still loses a good chunk of his HP, about about 15% worth there. It'll buff he fires up. out of the, he fires out of the smoke and is lit. His smoke firing penalty enough that he can be seen in there. Mm. Yep, trying to get Quicksilver through the gap up to this island here. They do succeed for the moment. Takes a pot shot at Quincy. Still nobody his cap C. No. Otherwise, it's one cap each. Like, this is the, almost the entire game, Zach. Look at the map. Like, every, yeah. almost, there's there's a handful, a couple of ships at A. B is empty. Everybody's playing up here in the top right Just corner. like Tears of the Desert. And take a look. Coop is now taking position behind Cowboy. Ready for that smoke. Cowboy's hitting W. So they're going to bring the Minotaur up closer into the cap. Red Rover, Red Rover. Send the Minotaur on over. That's right. Siberian Dog back onto the cap. Radar trying to find him. Hasn't yet. Is about to. There it is. There it is. That's the Stalingrad radar from Peach Beach, way back on the 10 line. Picking up Siberian three rows over. 
Coop getting in on this though, and look at this. Quincy detected on the side. Coop just casually changes the targets. Minotaur announcing its presence in the worst way possible if you're a destroyer. Yeah. Your your as in your health just starts evaporating. <laughs> what? My ship is broken. I love I love the aggressive Minotaur positioning against a four destroyer lineup, Zaf. I'm oh, a yeah. huge fan of this. Oh yeah. Oh, big hit there on Sexy Colonel Sanders' Des Moines. From where? Is that is that the Ohio, Zaf? That's gotta be the Ohio. The, the Ohio has his spotter plane up. Steven, yeah. 29 and a half kilometers away. In fact, there's more shells on the way right now. Look. In-flight in meal and movie coming in. Yep. Seriously, these guys get a movie to go with their transit time as well. They're falling in now. Nothing doing. Whoa. But with such a target-rich environment right there. Yeah. Three ships clustered in that little area, so you know he's going to keep taking that shot. He might get lucky and land something, even yep. if he can't see it. Yep. And he's got that plane active. Here comes another shot. Blows my mind. He's making these shots at oh, almost 30 kilometers. Right? He's moving north now, so it's the range is down to only 27 and change. Ah. This might hit Sanders. It does. Yep. Not it's a little much. bit of ship damage on Sanders there. Still the sea cap un uh, unowned. Cowboy's going to step in now. Or he's been in for a bit. Excuse me. Ticking that up. Coop Luke. having to move off of his smoke. Yep. Luger trying to now, smoke Hutao in. Hutao just well, got detected. Now, radar going up and picking up Luger. That's, uh, who is that? That's the Petro radar from Quicksilver. Yep. So now they can see both of these ships <laughs> as they're trying to press in. Hutao responds with his own radar, catching Cowboy. He does indeed. And here comes Coop's radar. Radar Minnow now getting into the action. Sure. Luger now realizes Surpri he's kind of stuck. I'm yeah, I'm surprised that more people aren't shooting at Luger, but it might not matter. It might still be just enough here. Minnow radar has got a quite a duration. They still got almost 20, more than 20 seconds left on this radar. That's right. Well, Des Moines is no longer detected. Hutao is relatively safe. And Petro Luger's getting going a right big here. hit on Luger. 89 HP is Luger. Still plenty of time on this radar. 10 seconds. A little bit of minnow love will deal will seal the deal. Shell's coming in. There he goes. Quicksilver gets the kill. Quicksilver with the kill, but they're going to lose control of B. Quincy's run back south, realizing that the minnow is up here now. There's nobody yep. to guard B. They're going to yep. grab B for free. Sanders is Kremlin. He ignored the destroyer, trying to hit Hutao in the uh, in the smoke. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why you weren't seeing that focus fire. Okay. Doesn't look like he was successful based no. on Hu Tao's health pool. He got he got a little bit of chip damage. That's it. Now here come some deep water torpedoes. Oh yeah. Hu Tao's uh, hydro had just expired. I don't know if they yeah. were able to detect Ta these torps. His, his hydro's offline. He's going to take at least one of these in the stern. He is lit. I'm not sure by who exactly. It looks like Cowboy's got him lit on the surface. Yeah. Yeah. Because he came out of the smoke. Yep. Which is a smart thing to do after all these deep water torps coming in. Yep. And now Kakuri trying to get back in here. He's detected as well. He is lit. Siberian's Yang train changing fire to shoot Kakuri. KSC on about a hundred, almost a 200 point lead and falling. They do not own the cap advantage right now, but they are up a ship. Yeah. Well, only one shiver now, but Hutao's looking pretty rough. Yep, got another big sell from Steven coming in the Ohio, but that's on the Kremlin. Even if it did a waiting. lot of damage, it wouldn't matter. I'm kind of waiting for the Kremlin to take a shot at Hu Tao. Here it comes. I was mm. waiting for these shells. Oh, he's been waiting for them, too. He's been taking those shells, uh, those, those shots. Just Nothing. like you see. Look at that yep. dispersion falling all around. Splish, splash. Here comes the stern turrets, actually. Nope. nope. More more splishing and splashing. That's right. Hu Tao is, is dark now. And healing. He's going to limp away. Yep, going to limp away on a sliver of HP and survive to a heal. Sanders, though, is now the focus target for ELSR. Yeah, he's in trouble. He's down to his last heal already. Of course, we're almost to the halfway mark of the game. Doesn't feel like it somehow, but we are. Yeah, right? His bow turret's out, going out at Oguri. There's the fire. Decent hit. 
Some full pens. They do get a fire on Sanders. Yep. That one's going to burn for a bit. Lead now down to about 140 points. Sanders is dark now, so uh, he's just going to have to DCP in 15 seconds. Try to save as much hit points as he can. As now Oguri is getting some uh, well, payback. Well, let's say, let's say, well, and look at what Hitaki's Harugamo has been doing up here, right? Yeah. He's just been open water farming this St. Vincent. Like, what are you going to do about it? Come at me, bro. And they're going to kill him. They're yeah. going to get, they're going to knock Oguri out of the, out of the game right here. There he goes. Two ship lead now for KST. Hu Tao also falling under more fire. Minotaur's, Minotaur shells going in. They've got him lit. And torpedoes. I don't think the torps are gonna those, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I don't think the torps are gonna land. He's got too much too much island cover over here. All right. Ooh. Oh, ho! oh Pikachu. Pikachu's conqueror from twenty two and and change. What a shot! Absolutely, yeah. Just completely colonized Hu Tao's Des Moines. And Quincy now, the focus target. Uh, Raptor. I can't see him. If you're ELSR, how do you come back from this at this point? Whoa. How? How indeed, Zath? You've been out traded. You've been out shot. You're down ships. You have board control, but you're not going to be able to retain it. You need a kill, but where are you going to get one? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, the Kremlin at the top of the map is on 10,000 HP and is completely out of heals. The Ohio is continuing to fish for him up there blindly, I think. I'm seeing shells fall in, mm -hmm. but he's not, he's not connecting. So it's like, yep. it's like playing Battleship, literally so playing Battleship. He's just firing. Siberian has caught Quincy on radar now. Interestingly enough, he's choosing not to fire. Instead, nope. allowing Pikachu's Conqueror to come in. Yep. They're going to lose him right here, but that's yep. okay. I love it. Tian is just trying desperately to catch up. Look at Aussie and Pikachu. The teamwork these guys... We haven't focused at all on this flank, Zaf, but no. man... The teamwork that these guys have have put together to slow down this push up the A line, mm -hmm. and that they're still in the game is absolutely phenomenal. And as healthy as they are. Yes, I mean, Aussie's barely dinged, and Pikachu's only been through, well, what two heals? I guess. Yep, Looks like got, two heals. He's got two left. At the moment, KSC down a cap, but they have killed enough opposing ships that they're going to win the game in three minutes, even if they don't pick up another cap. Coop now picking up Kukuri's Kleber. It's gonna be a, a possible problem for Kukuri. Well, he's gonna take some damage. He may be able to get his ship out of there. It's gonna depend on what kind of focus fire his, the rest of the team can put on him because they're about to lose him now on the radar. Yep. yep. I don't think everybody else is ready yet. No, I don't think, I don't think they expected him to be there. Mm-hmm. Still some good hits, though. Very good hits. Kukuri down, down to only about 5,000 HP. The lead continuing to close, but it's just not going to be enough unless ELSR can bag a kill. Well, and the only thing I can see is possibly Cowboy running in front of these torpedoes as he smokes up Coop. But Coop's going the other Maybe. way. Maybe. What's the range on Delny Torps, though? Isn't it like 8 kilometers? It's not 10, is it? Uh, I have to think. I, think I don't remember off don't remember off the top of my head. Yeah. And I know the Russians are odd. Like most torpedoes have range higher than detection, but not all of the Russian torps do. I think it's 10. Mm -hmm. I want to say it's 10. When I play competitive, if I'm not sure, I always assume the higher number. Now, KSC is collapsing Oof. back on the Shima Venezia push. Zach. Something wrong noticed? takes a torp. And Tian Tian takes oh! a torp in the face. That should seal the deal. Less than a minute left. Yeah. 60 seconds now as KSC has sent five ships back to deal with this Venezia and Shimakaze push chasing up the two line. They get the Shima. Yeah. And now something, something's wrong, has to smoke and try to bail out of here, but there's so little time left in this game, Zap. I mean, he's going to save his ship with that, but you lost the war, you know? <laughs> like... Yeah. I mean, your ship will survive, but your team will lose. Kind of a Pyrrhic victory there. That's right. 20 it's seconds looking. to go. 20 seconds from a KSC victory here.
Yeah. He's also going to save his ship, but it may not matter. Time ticking away under 10 Balance seconds. That's right. Minutes. Look at all the torps going out for the Venezia just in case. Yeah. But there it is. Wow. For the second King of the Sea in a row, Zap, KSC comes back out of the loser's bracket, plays all the way through, and wins in the grand final to, re to retain the crown. I mean, doesn't get much better than that, huh? Are you not entertained, Are you Zach? not entertained? Oh, I am very entertained. I'm sure you and everybody else has been entertained. So, yeah. I mean, wow. wow. Congratulations to both teams. ELSR yeah. just exploded on King of the yeah. Sea this, this entire tournament. We didn't know who they were. We saw them play a little bit, and they were always this mysterious team that just managed to knock everybody down. Yeah. And then they themselves got knocked out here in four matches. That's wow. Both of these teams have clearly very strong. I'm looking forward to the international bracket. I'm very, very happy with the teams that are going to represent NA next weekend. Oh, I yeah. think it's going to be a good event. Oh, absolutely. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Last game of the day in the books. KSC is your victor. Let's throw it back to Prague for some final analysis, and we will see you guys again in just a few minutes.